What's up guys, Alex here with another tutorial. Uh, sorry for the lack of videos, I got sidetracked lately this week and I meant to upload two videos this week but I haven't found the time to actually make any videos. So hopefully I'll make more videos and get back to my quick tip series for Vegas and probably next week I might upload a tutorial on how to do digi effects in Sony Vegas but I need to work a little more on that before I actually uh, make a tutorial on it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make the displacement transition in Sony Vegas. So as you can see here uh, you have video and they're crossfading each other and it's kind of dissolving within the um, displacement effect. So let's go into our new video. And I'm just going to delete this and make a new composition. Let's go ahead and place these two clips right next to each other. And as you noticed in the original file, I slowed down the clip before the actual effect just so there aren't any random movements during the effect. So let's go ahead and click on the first video clip and go to insert event velocity and we're going to make a point and we're going to slow it down probably to about 45 to 50 percent and do the same thing for the second video clip as well. Uh, set the beginning point to whatever percentage you slowed the first video down to. And after about a second, set the speed back to 100%. And next, what we want to do is crossfade the video. So you want to overlap these two video clips. And make sure they're about 1 second long or even 20 frames. And Next, what we want to do is right click on our video track, which is right here, and duplicate it. Because if you just go ahead and go on the original video track and add the plugin, it's not going to show up. So that's why we need two exact same copies of the video track. So on the top one, you want to set your compositing mode to custom and go to the Sony height map and you should have a window just like this go ahead and click on animate and click on the very first keyframe and set the amplitude to zero alright so the beginning of the effect should occur a little bit before the overlapping videos so I want to go ahead and make a keyframe around that area and go to the middle of the crossfade and we're going to raise the amplitude. You don't have to raise the value of the elevation or height scale uh, because those basically don't control the overall distortion of the height map. But you can change it if you want to tweak the settings a little bit. And you make sure you want to select wrap pixels around so you don't have any empty spots within your distortion and set the smoothness to about a value of 20 or higher and yeah go a little bit towards the end of the transition make a keyframe and set the amplitude to zero so that's the basics of this displacement transition Uh, but again, you want to make sure that the distortion is really fast and if you want more of an effect, you can um, get the elevation and bring it up all the way. So you should get something like this again. 
and that's how you do the displacement transition so this was a simple tutorial um, I'll come up with a few more effects before I actually start on my uh, Cinema 4D tutorials and next week again look out for the digi effect tutorial in Sony Vegas I'll have that video made in a couple of days so in the meantime if you can just like my video post a comment and uh, watch my other videos if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time